Listen to this. The single most subversive act a man can commit today is to uphold traditional Western cultural values. Wow, that's profound. Should I add it to the Verti Wisdom book? Definitely. I love Nick Vertigo. He's the hero everyone deserves, but no one needs. Listen to this one. Degeneracy as a contemporary phenomenon is a result of past events. I love the bitch slasher. The single greatest horror character created by the single greatest horror mind. All, All hail, hail the, the Verti God. God. I love Nick Vertigo. Hello, weirdos. I'd like to rent new super blockbuster Mega Juggernaut, please. Do you love Nick Vertigo? I don't care. I just want to spend the evening battering my senses into submission with 16 wheeler carnage and cheap liquor. Don't you want to rent Bitch Slicer 3 instead? There's a man in laundry with meat tied to his face disemboweling women with a bill hook. A Yorkshire bill hook. This may come as a surprise to you, but no. No, I don't. But it's the single greatest slasher movie ever made. Just give me Mega Juggernaut. How about Bitch Slasher 5? It's intellectual. Just give me... Intellectual? If you understand the symbolism, then it's a very powerful film. What sort of symbolism? A man with sausages on his face, butchering women. The Bitch Slasher represents utilitarian rationalism, slicing through layers of postmodern moral relativism. What? The sausages represent the AIDS crisis. I love Nick Vertigo. Bullshit. Anyone can justify gratuity with pretentious twattery like that. Look, here. Cannibal Quarry Massacre. On the surface, a bunch of scruffy men in a quarry eating one another, but in reality, a scathing critical analysis of unsustainable Tory welfare policy. Wow, I never looked at it like that before. I love you. Ooh, trick or treat. Get some fucking spice, the kids. Halloween was last week, Donny. Huh? What are you supposed to be anyway? I'm a fucking ghost, aren't I? Can I please just rent the pissing video and piss the piss off? There. What's that? What? That. My tie. Giddy. it. No, of course I'm not going to give you my tie. Are you insane? Giddy. No. Don't be get off. Fucking get it. off. Exterior. Dusk. Dr. Muller is stood flanked by two leering Nazi cannibals. Quick, we need to record this. Don't worry, I'm a journalist. And the Nazi cannibals smiled. The end. What, what happened? <laughs> that was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. You went into some sort of a trance. You wrote Nazis and Cannibals. Nazis and Cannibals? Nazis and Cannibals. Ah, fucking Nazis and Cannibals. Great fucking film, that. But we've been trying to write that movie for weeks, with no avail. And all it took was... Dear viewers, what you've seen today is a simple tale of intellectual snobbery, class prejudice and writer's block, lovingly resolved by the intervention of 246.2 metres of magnetic tape enclosed in a rectangular plastic case of pure happiness. Remember folks, VHS is the format that cares. Don't leave it out in the cold. I love Nick Vertigo.